Hi. I'm here in London. You wouldn't say if you look around me, but this is London. I'm at the Hampstead Heath. I'm here, <laughs> giving myself a huge break from daily life. I've been promising myself a trip to England for months but just kept not doing it until the feeling got very urgent like I really want to get out of daily life for a little bit and then the next day an invitation came from a friend to come to London and now to come to England and I thought okay this is the sign and it wasn't an easy step because I got three small kids, I had workshops to run. So, but I felt I gotta go. So I found babysits. I found someone else to do my workshop. And off I went. I spent the last three days creating a very funny retreat with my friend in his house, surrounded by fresh fruit, chocolate, tea, whiskey. Hardly got out of the house, just sitting, feeling, creating space for all that lives beyond the surface. So, you know, in daily life you're in this melting pot of expectations you have of yourself, that others have of you. And you just forget them. There are subtle emotions beyond the surface that have such powerful messages for you. <sighs> so that's what I've been doing for a couple of days. Just feeling them. And they make me feel fucking confused right now. You know, the mind always wants to understand everything, wants to know where we're going wants to know a thousand steps ahead, planned, clearly, in details. But that's not how life works. So now, just trying to look one step ahead. Giving birth to a new me, contraction by contraction. Not thinking about the end result, not thinking about the goal. Just taking it step by step. Enjoying the path. Enjoying this confusion. These emotions. Being like the woman observing the little child and all her emotions. The sadness, the grief, the rage, the anger, the joy, the bliss. It's all there. It's all in this body. And I try to just observe and maybe even to let go of these labels. Because if you don't call it pain, if you don't call it bliss, if you don't call it sadness, it's just energy. It's just energy raging through the body. It's aliveness, pure aliveness, raw. Very raw, very alive. Surrounded by these beautiful trees. Listening to the birds. Taking life breath by breath, tear by tear, <laughs> smile by smile. Just like the bird, branch by branch. It's like this walk in the forest. I've never been here. I'm just walking towards the beautiful trees, actually. <laughs> and I have no idea what comes next. I'm not thinking about the way back. I'm not thinking about what's around the corner. I'm not thinking about 
my dirty shoes. Can you see them? Yeah, there they are. It's quite muddy up here. <laughs> Is that what it's about? This is not about dirty shoes. This is not about walking on the path or a side the path. It's not about knowing where I'm going. It's not about where I was. It's not about who I'm going to meet. It's not about who I'm going to be when I walk out of this forest. It's about this very fucking moment. Being so wildly alive. crying for no reason at all. It doesn't matter. We don't have to understand life. <laughs> we don't. We think we have to. We think we have to understand every single bit of it. Every single person. <laughs> we have to plan it out. It's what I teach us when we're small. Plan your career, plan your life. It's not what this is about. We don't live life to follow a maze or a grid. We follow life. We live to be alive. That's the only purpose, being alive. Raw life. Deliciously raw lifeness without a clue. All the wisdom in the world doesn't bring you any further if you don't take a step and another step and another step. It's just going on. And don't forget to enjoy your muddy feet, the birds, the trees every beautiful single person you'll ever meet. I love you guys. I really do. I care about all of you. Hmm. Mm.